Can you speak English? Can you speak English? Excuse me, sir. Can you speak English? Can you speak English? Oh, oh can you speak English, mate? And I can't understand the word you're saying. Oh, my. Accents aside, English has been the main medium of communication in Singapore in the past few decades. But how has it evolved over the years? Just listen around you. There are Singaporeans who speak Singlish, Singaporeans who speak proper English, and Singaporeans who speak in out of nowhere accents. And then there's Riz Bikini Lo and game character Bolo Santosi, two symbols of bad English. As our population grows, we welcome more migrants from all over the world. Some of them speak better English than we do, and yet some struggle to put together a proper sentence. Yet there are others who speak like us, ending the sentences with la. How have foreign influences affected Singapore's English standard, or do we have an English standard to begin with? And how could we actually rate our own English? First up, let's hear it from Riz Low. Giddy leopard prints and booms. Well, it was all made famous by this former beauty queen, Riz Low, whose name was synonymous with poor English. But almost a year after her infamy, has the English improved much? Let's find out more from the woman herself. So, ta-da! We have Riz. Hi, everyone. Okay, now Riz. Now I wanted to ask you. Uh, one year ago, you introduced yourself to Eva. Hi, I'm Riz Low. Currently, I'm majoring in my diploma in health science and hospitality and travel tourism. Right now, I'm studying still. Mm-hmm. So, how would you actually introduce yourself now? Hi, my name is Riz Low. I'm studying in hospitality, travel and tourism. Because uh, now I'm studying counseling mm-hmm. and doing my psychology stuff. Feels <laughs> 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 bad. <laughs> no, it's definitely improved mm-hmm. compared to last time. Now, have you actually um, improved your English in any way, or gotten any private coaching for your English? Uh, I try to speak up more in class, and during the counselors' counseling sessions. We got role play, so I actually stand up more. So yeah. Okay, now on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your English standard now versus how you would have rated your English standard when you first came on Razor TV? Um, nine over ten, and so that's now. Yeah, last time. Two over ten <laughs> because I was too nervous. I was tongue tied. I can't speak. I can't. Say anything. I can't speak even oil. If I really meet those angmos out there, then I would try to you know speak in a better way. Like stress on my English, stress on the T and the day. Yeah, you know that kind of thing. So did you actually like go through a dictionary? You know every day like oh okay learn new word or anything? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm Have just you... too lazy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you ham it up for the camera because they sort of expect Riz Low, the the girl who speaks English? Ah uh, yes, I think everybody expects me to speak English, so I think it's an easier way to communicate with your fellow mates, and English is the way to go. So I thought that. Uh, maybe I can just speak English all the way. I mean, everybody understands you in English. Nobody understands you in Queen's English. Okay, now do people still criticize your English? Yes, but I don't see what's the point of them criticizing my English because they speak the way I do, and I don't think that I speak really that bad. Do you think they're a bit too harsh on you? Yeah, of course. I mean, they should look into the mirror and speak about themselves, like. They can't pronounce the word fully. They don't really stress on the words. They don't stress on the points of the words or syllables. Now, like when you actually were going for a stint mm. as a DJ, a lot of people were actually protesting. Why do you think that was? Uh, I think that people just don't like me as a DJ because I can't speak on air. That's what they think from the start. I mean, it's hard to change your image once you have already set this first impression. So, mm-hmm. uh, they should be more forgiving and see it on a bigger picture. Mm-hmm. I think that they say that my English is really bad, 
-hmm. because they haven't heard me say like good English before mm -hmm. and they are not anybody to judge me and I type very good English I type perfect English and I try not to make any mistakes in my typings and my blog yeah you have a new blog you were telling us about mm -hmm. where people can see for themselves you know or judge for themselves what your English is like mm. uh, where is that blog located uh, my new blog is no longer rislow.sg or lowimin.com is lowimin ris dot blogspot.com so everybody can find me there and judge my English and I think that my English is definitely getting better and there's not much of Singlish being typed in there because I think that I can write pretty good compositions and letters